Good afternoon and welcome to my Backgammon channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want us to look at the 12 steps to improve your Backgammon game. How to take you to the next level. So this is a systematic approach to training and learning and how to improve. Now, no matter what level you are, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate or an expert player, you may find some value in these 12 steps. So let's get started. Now, step one is the bedrock, the foundation for all of the steps that follow. So this is really key. So I want you to look at a sample of matches. Ideally, 50 matches at five points or more, but you can do fewer. And save your blunders or errors into a folder on your computer. Now, if you only want to focus on checker plays, you can play 51 pointers on XG or on Galaxy, Heroes, Grid, etc. Now, you may have already been playing Backgammon for a while, so you have many matches in your match history. So you can simply download those onto the, your computer and screenshot the biggest mistakes. Now, once you've done this first step, the second step is to organize a blunder database on your computer. Now, this is just an example of one which you can adapt for your own needs. Now, you can see on the top, I have the five main folders, opening, mid and end game, cubing and game plan. And then by clicking on those folders, I have subfolders such as different cube decisions, different game plans, different aspects of the end game. So once I found my blunders and errors, I can drop those screenshots into the corresponding folders. Now, once I've done that, I can create a dialogue with myself as the third step and ask myself questions such as the ones below. Now, I cannot overemphasize the importance of metacognition. Learning how you learn is really fundamental to improving your game. So have a look at those folders and the subfolders. See which folders have more screenshots in, more blunders in, and then that will generate the questions that you can ask yourself. Now, these are just some examples. Am I making too many mistakes in the opening game or closing game? Am I cubing too early or too late? Am I playing too bold or too safe, etc. Look at your mistakes and that will generate your own personal set of questions and then ask yourself those questions and answer them truthfully. Let's go on to step four. Now, once you have identified your areas of weakness, find reading materials to help you improve further. So these are four excellent books, which I can recommend. So on the left, you have Cube Like a Boss by Mark Olson, which is full of hundreds of back of cube reference positions. Very useful. Um, secondly, you have Opening Concepts, written by the giant uh, Michi. This is one of three books he's written. They're all excellent. This first one introduces many key concepts, uh, double tiger plays, and is very useful for understanding the opening game. Thirdly, What's Your Game Plan? by Mary Hickey and Marty Storer. So this takes you through whether to race, whether to blitz, whether to prime. Are you thinking about your game plan? when you make your decision. And finally, the classic by Walter Trice, Backgammon Bootcamp, boot uh, which has many chapters on many different aspects of the game and is really good to nailing down those fundamentals. So as well as reading books, you can use free online material. Now there is a wealth of resources, backgammon resources on the web, but some of it is better than others. And these are three sites which I've used, which I can definitely recommend. Um, firstly, BG Quiz on the left. 
very good. You can practice your opening replies. Um, you can keep revisiting that site and, and do that exercise over and over again. On the right, you have Bill Roberti's problem of the week. Now, this is interesting not only for the problem, but also for his detailed analysis and explanation of the answer, which is very valuable to read. And also on the bottom, we have the UK player Chris Bray's position of the day. So each day, he will post up a tricky checker play or cube decision, and the next day, offer the answer and some analysis. Now, I will post the links to these in the description to the video. Step six, get yourself a tutor. Now, if you do not fully understand what you have read, get a tutor or a coach to help explain what you may be missing. So the time they have spent studying and playing backgammon will reveal insights that you may have not considered. And ask them, how do they improve? What is their routine and work ethic? What do they do to get to their level? Maybe you've seen a position in one of those books, you don't understand the answer, show them the position, and then they will, you know, offer some nuggets of advice and wisdom, which shall improve your game also. Step seven, create a study plan to revise. Now, if you want to improve, you need to be serious about putting in the time required to take your backgammon to that next level. Now, Mochi said for every hour he spends playing, he spends another hour analysing the plays. And that's what is required, at least. I mean, he's the best player in the world, so I would take his advice seriously. Create yourself a study plan. You can use that template on the bottom right. Work out when you're free in the week. Maybe you can do an hour in the evening or an hour in the afternoon. Try to practice regularly each day and you will see improvements in your game. Step eight. So you can use your study plan to repeat and return to areas of weakness to eliminate those areas of weakness. Keep revisiting those areas and try to move the information and the knowledge you've gleaned from the short to the long-term memory. So through repetition, you will embed and retain learning. So here you can see green has played the four one slot and how would you play double one? So positions like that and opening reply you could go over and over until it ha has embedded in your memory and you understand it. Step eight, use XG to your advantage. Now really there is no substitute to XG, the, the backgammon software, but use it in ways that work for you. So you can check out my other video on getting the most out of XG, but this is one simple thing you can do. So in this position below that I set up, this is a borderline double, no double for white in a money game. Now, what adjustments would you need to make to that position to make it a definite double or a definite no double? So you can manipulate positions to see different answers and that's how you use XG to your advantage and get the most out of studying those errors and blunders that are in your database. Now step 10 is really important and definitely helped me with my own game. Understand the why as well as a how to develop a deeper and more conscious understanding of the game. So even with moves that seem obvious, why? Why are you making them? Why are you making the five point on the opening roll? What is the value of a five point? Why is making the five point bad for my opponent? Why is a five point better than the four point? Ask yourself these questions and understand the why. So you're embedding a deeper and more conscious understanding of every checker and cube decision. Step 11, don't only focus on the win. 
Now, the best backgammon players in the world only win around 65% of the time. Don't get hung up on bad dice or unlucky rolls. Stay focused. Stay focused on your play, not your opponent's play, on your own decisions. And finally, step 12. Don't try to take on everything at once. Now, backgammon is a vast and complex game, which becomes more complicated the longer you play it, but it also becomes more thrilling and beautiful. So choose small focused areas of improvement and work on them. For example, here are two positions at three away, two away, but what is a correct cube action? So focus on those small areas, use your database, ask yourself the right questions and focus on those individual areas and you will see improvements, marginal gains. You're not gonna jump from a 10 PR to a 5 PR overnight, but you might go from a 10 to a 9.5 to a 9.5 to an 8.8 8 or whatever it might be. But use these 12 steps to help guide you. Thank you very much. Make sure you enjoy the game and play more. These are 12 steps. I hope you find some value in them, but please enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy making these videos, so please like and subscribe if you like them also. And just keep playing. Experience accumulates and you will begin to recognize more patterns, which again will help you. But follow these steps, be rigorous about improving and you will see benefits in your game. So good luck on your backgammon journey. All the best. See you next time. Goodbye.